on to our topic today. Now we will we are going to learn about the heart and blood circulatory system and what is this synergistic effect to maintain a healthy circulation. Before we go into that, let's understand what is a circulatory system. Basically, uh, our circulatory system is made up of one heart and a complex network of blood vessel that is as long as a hundred thousand kilometers. When you lay it out, it can circle the earth, our earth 2.5 times, which is very, very, very long. And why is circulatory system so important? Our heart pump blood to the rest of our body and the blood actually travels in the, this blood vessel and it must reach every single cell in our body because through the blood, our cell gets oxygen, gets nutrients so that they can survive and function. At, at the same time, when our cell function, they will give out uh, some unwanted waste product that will also need our blood or our circulatory system to help it get rid and travel or transport this unwanted waste material to be excreted out from the body. That is why circulatory system is complex and it is so important for us to make sure that our body can function at the optimal level. However, blood vessel can also act like a bomb if we are not taking care of our diet and lifestyle well because starting at the age of 20, depending on our diet, if we are not eating very healthy, then the excessive the lipids, excessive blood sugar may start to accumulate in the blood vessel causing plaque like this and eventually if it's not taken care well it may cause blockage or even some other more um, severe circulatory or cardiovascular diseases that's why we say that you know blood vessel could be acting like a bomb where if we're not taking care of it so there are a few risk factor that can contribute to cardiovascular diseases what is cardiovascular diseases it is any diseases that originate or happen due to the problem inside our heart or any part of our blood vessels. So normally, um, there are a few very good risk factors where doctors can predict whether you know we have high or low risk of cardiovascular diseases. For example, here are the four risk, common risk factors that can contribute to cardiovascular or in short, we call it CBD. So the first one is high blood pressure, the second one is high cholesterol, third one is thrombus formation, and the fourth one is inflammation. So people with high blood pressure, it could be due to their blood vessel lost the flexibility or elasticity. And high cholesterol, it means that you know the cholesterol level in the bloodstream is more than normal which may increase the risk of this build up of plaque in the blood vessel and that could also lead to vessel blockage and the third one thrombus formation is actually the formation of blood clot due to uh, internal bleeding within the blood vessel and eventually it may also lead to a uh, blockage within the blood vessel so this blockage may eventually cause stroke or even heart attack due to the blockage, due to the restriction of blood flow. And the fourth one, inflammation. This inflammation happens within the blood vessel, which is why we can't really see it. We may not even feel it until, you know, problem, more severe diseases arise. So um, from one of, the, one of the tests that we can know whether our body is inflamed in a certain level is looking at the um, C-reactive protein or in short we call it CRP level. It's an indication whereby our body is uh, inflamed or not. If it's high, which means our body at a certain level is inflamed. So when our blood vessel is inflamed, it will, it will affect the function of the blood vessel. For example, the blood vessel is supposed to have a very well regulation whether to dilate, which is to open it, open up more, or to restrict, 
okay, or the uh, constriction of the vessel. However, if a blood vessel is inflamed, it may lose its own ability to regulate all this. Then it will cause problem to our circulatory system. Now, the consequences of poor blood circulation uh, can be divided into uh, minor or severe. So for just minor blockage, uh, maybe a blockage at some blood vessel that may not affect the important organs, then the person may feel dizzy, may feel headache, uh, affect the appetite or shortness of breath. And as you can see, most of these uh, symptoms are related to the lack of oxygen because as I mentioned earlier, our blood helps to transport oxygen and nutrients to the body. So if our blood circulation is not good, we'll experience all these including hand and leg coldness. Okay? And the last one is impotence which means uh, very hard to uh, get pregnant, get baby because um, the blood, when the blood flow is not good, okay, it will also affect the transportation uh, of nutrients and in men, when the blood circulation is not good, it may also affect their fert fertility. So that's, that's why, uh, as I mentioned in the earlier the opening, our circulatory system plays a very, very important role that is to make sure if our blood circulation is good then it can help our body to make sure that we can function at the optimum level because every single cell in our body depend on the supply of oxygen and nutrients to the cell okay however if there is a major or a more severe blockage probably in very important organ say our brain or in our heart or a major artery like aorta then it will cause heart attack or stroke. Heart attack is when there's a very important or major blood vessel in the heart is blocked or when it's stroke, it means that a very important blood vessel in the brain is blocked. Now, under um, usual, usual um, treatment that is prescribed by doctor depending on your condition so most of the doctor may encourage um, a patient to try on lifestyle modification before they go for any drugs which means say doctor found that okay you have high cholesterol you have high triglyceride you have uh, say high blood sugar and all these are contributing factors to CBD so doctor may give you chance to improve through lifestyle modification, which means through your diet or exercise, managing your stress. However, if you can't manage to bring down all these readings that are dangerous, uh, especially your cholesterol level and bl blood pressure, then doctor will need to start you on drugs. However, please do note that drugs is not to cure all this problem because your cholesterol level, your blood pressure cannot be cured by medication. Medication is only to manage, which means that taking it, it helps you to bring down the reading. But when you stop doing it, at the same time, you're not changing your lifestyle, your blood pressure and cholesterol level will still went back, go back to the high level, or it may become worsened because you're not changing your diet, you're not changing your lifestyle. In other words, drug cannot cure and um, a disadvantage of using drug is that we know that drugs always accompany with side effects and it is uh, something that is chemical, chemically made, it's not um, your natural food. So I would say by all means you want to avoid this. And if the condition is worsened, for example, there is a blockage that is found in blood vessel, then doctor may advise you to go on an angioplasty. And, and this angioplasty treatment is actually to uh, insert a stun, a, a stand in the area, the blood vessel area where 
the blockage happen. So this is to only help your blood vessel to open up. But again, if you're not taking care of your diet and your lifestyle, no changing, the blockage will come back. It's not a an ultimate solution. You still have to take care of your diet, of your lifestyle. And of course, not everybody can undergo angioplasty because it depends on where is the blockage site. If it's uh, a very severe blockage, doctor may not advise this. If it's um, at the main artery, the major artery that where your blood is uh, going out or in to your through your heart to the rest of the body, then it's not that it's not suitable. Uh, if the heart muscle is weak, too weak to to handle this, or you have multiple disease blood vessel, which means there there are too many um, to perform this surgery, and of course, finally, if is a uh, there's a diabetic patient, maybe doctor may not encourage. It may be due to the concern of the recovery. Okay, and if okay, this is not suitable, a doctor may then uh, recommend bypass surgery. So what happened in bypass surgery is that, as the name, it's like building a new route to bypass the blockage site. So a, a vein will be obtained from um, different other parts of your body, for example, your calf area, and be connected to the heart, okay? Uh, wherever the blockage is, it will help to bypass to, to direct the blood flow from the new vein into uh, the blockage site. So as you can see, the cost is high and it is very, very invasive, which means that it's a very high risk surgery, not easy to perform, and it's costly. And of course, it's not for everybody. So I would say to summarize, if we want to avoid all this, from the drugs to the surgery, still we need to go back to lifestyle modification. We need to, we need to prevent before it gets um, into this severe state, right? And what is other more safe or natural way that could be helpful to protect your circulatory system? And here is one thing that you you may want to know or you have already known, which is the nitric oxide. It is a type of gas, but it is not something alien to your body because your body naturally can produce nitric oxide. And why is nitric oxide helpful to the circulatory system is because it is an important messenger inside our body that tells your blood vessel okay, uh, to relax. So if we, we want to take care of our circulatory system with this uh, nitric oxide, it is considered a more safe way, a safer way because First, it does not give you any side effect. It is not a hormone. It is not a chemical. It is something that is found inside your body. The only difference is whether your body can generate or produce sufficient nitric oxide to support the optimal function of your circulatory system. Now, where can we get nitric oxide? What are the source of nitric oxide? And what, what do we mean by this enhanced formulation for healthy circulation? We'll look deeper into it. So first of all, nitric oxide, the good source of nitric oxide comes from L-arginine. And as I, I've mentioned earlier, nitric oxide is an important messenger for our cardiovascular health. So what nitric oxide do to our body is that it can help to dissolve plaque formation. Um, plaque means the the accumulation of all those excessive lipid, sugar, and other stuff that is found in our uh, blood vessel that deposited that that are de deposited on the wall of our blood vessel, and this pack is very stubborn, and at, as it builds up and we did not do anything to it, it will lead to blockage. However, with nitric oxide, it can help to uh, dissolve this plaque formation, and secondly. As I mentioned, nitric oxide is a messenger, which means it can help the communication between cells. So 
With the presence of nitric oxide, it can help the blood vessel to dilate, which means it can help the communication in the um, the blood vessel, the, the cells between uh, within the blood vessel that ask them to relax when they're supposed to be. So when this muscle, okay, our blood vessel is actually uh, muscles. So when this muscle relaxes, it will dilate, it will open up more, so the blood flow can increase. And then nitric oxide also helps to restore the function of this damaged blood vessel. As I uh, explained earlier, if the blood vessel knows how to dilate, it means that you know it, the, the flexibility or the elasticity of this blood vessel is restored. Otherwise, it will always be constricting and tense up. Okay, so with this, um, with this help from nitric oxide, in other words, it actually help our blood vessel to uh, maintain its elasticity. Okay, to to prevent the further further uh, formation of plaque or slow down the formation of plaque, dilates the blood vessel and make sure ultimately is to make sure the flow of blood is good, is healthy. Now, because of our lifestyle nowadays, uh, our body may not be able to produce uh, nitric oxide efficiently and aging is one of the major factors as we age uh, our body may not be able to produce an all that efficiently uh, lack of exercise imbalanced diet and stress all of these can hinder the production of this nitric oxide that's why it is important to replenish if we are unable to make enough of it then we may need to get it from other uh, the outside source that can equally uh, give us this nitric oxide that can function help our um, circulatory system to function well now as we know that as we have seen that you know earlier in the slide enhanced formulation and what is being enhanced here is this addition of this patented curcumin what is curcumin um, please make sure you, you are clear that curcumin is not turmeric it's not the you know, the turmeric you use for cooking, but curcumin is extracted from turmeric. Okay, so curcumin is a bioactive compound that is proven clinically. It has very powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effect. And numerous study also shows that it helps to regulate our blood lipid. Okay, so we look further into it. This patented curcumin, why it, it is patented is because it has a special delivery system. When we compare it to just some ordinary curcumin, this patented curcumin has four times higher bioavailability. As you can see in the, the graph here, compared to this red color, this is the normal standard curcumin, the absorption rate in this patented curcumin is much more higher as you can see in this um, image here generic curcumin is very hard to be mixed with water or liquid because it is poorer in solubility and lower in bioavailability so which means um, taking gen generic curcumin comparing to patented curcumin you may not be fully utilizing it because your body can't really absorb it. However, this patented curcumin, as you can see, it can disperse easily. That's why it's easily available for our body. And what is so good about this um, curcumin is that when we combine it with L-arginine, it can actually help to um, increase the NO production. So we call this Combination one plus one under normal circumstances equal two, but when one plus one equals to more than two, that we call a synergistic effect. Because according to studies, when curcumin and arginine work together, the it can, they actually help to increase the production of nitric oxide up to forty percent. Comparing to no curcumin, only arginine, as you can see, there is a rise in 40% of this nitric oxide production. So isn't it great if, you know, uh, this synergistic effect help to boost more production?
And then besides that, numerous studies have shown the this curcumin um, can help to improve our blood lipid profile. When we talk about blood li lipid profile, there are four types, four major types of blood lipid in our body. The first one is total cholesterol. Total cholesterol comes from the addition of this LDL cholesterol, um, HDL cholesterol, uh, and then one more thing is this triglyceride. So when we look into, you know, whenever we go for a checkup, you will definitely see these four readings there. So these all are also uh, an indicator that doctor can tell you whether you have high risk or low risk of cardiovascular system. So it is very important for us to maintain total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and triglyceride at a normal range. If it's beyond the normal range, if it's too high, it will increase the risk of us getting cardiovascular disease. And the last one is HDL. Now, LDL and HDL are different. They are all called cholesterol, but LDL, we can generally call them bad cholesterol when the level is too high. But HDL is good cholesterol, so we want, we want to see the higher the, 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 the value or the reading of this HDL, the lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases. So you can see these studies um, are, are checking on the, the use of curcumin in blood lipid regulation. So for total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and triglyceride, we can see reduction of uh, the reading. As for HDL, it helps to increase the level of HDL in our body. So it, it is a very um, positive result as we can see from the studies. And why and why do we care? Uh, as as you know that you know cholesterol, uh, triglyceride, all these can can help us to identify whether we have high risk and low risk, but. You know, how do we know whether it really helps? If I bring down my cholesterol, does it mean I really have a lesser risk? So according to studies, if, if we can reduce our cholesterol by only 10%, say if I have uh, my total cholesterol at 6.2, a, a lower of 10% is less than 1. So say, for example, from 6.2, I reduce my reading to 5.5. That is already more than 10%. And if I also manage to control my blood pressure, okay, reduce by 10%. A combination of this reduction in cholesterol level and blood pressure will help to reduce our risk of getting CBD or cardiovascular disease by 45%. This is what the studies have found out. So, so it, it means that you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do a lot or you don't have to you know um, chase after a lot of things if you want to improve you take care of your cholesterol you take care of your blood pressure the studies have shown you that you are doing something good to reduce the risk of getting cardiovascular diseases this is proven all right and then um, finally curcumin is also very good in giving us this antioxidant protection. So we know earlier, one of the factors that may cause, uh, may contribute to CBD is inflammation. And where, where does this inflammation come from? Is when there is a buildup of oxidative stress in our body. And oxidative stress is when uh, we have a lot of these um, free radicals inside our body, the buildup of these free radicals will attack and damage our cell. So if it happens that our blood vessel, the cell within it is damaged, then in the longer term, it is creating oxidative stress and eventually it will cause inflammation. And what curcumin does is that it can help to increase the enzyme, uh, these antioxidant enzyme activities even up to 72%. So antioxidant is a very good substance that help to counter to counter the, the damages or the effect coming from these free radicals or this oxidative stress. So if we have enough of this antioxidant, it is protecting us 
from inflammation. So according to the studies, uh, with curcumin, it can help to suppress inflammation through many different mechanisms. So in, in short, curcumin is is very strong antioxidant, is very strong um, uh, anti-inflammatory properties, so it helps to protect the, uh, the health of this blood vessel as well. Um, and finally, why is it patented? Um, it is because of the, the special delivery system, right? Which helps to enhance the bioavailability. So with this, because of this innovative delivery system, this patented curcumin has gotten three awards since uh, 2018. Uh, it gets the Botanical Product of the Year awards. In 2019, uh, this patented curcumin also gotten the award-winning technology and innovative of the year award. So it's a very great ingredient. And the third unique ingredient that is being um, injected in this uh, product is the tomato aqueous extract. Now we, we can shorten it as TAE. So as the name, we know that this extract comes from tomato aqueous, which is the center part of the tomato, the gel part, this extract is um, taken or extracted out from that gel part. So again, tomato aqueous extract is not a tomato, it's different. It's very specifically extracted from a specific part. And this extract is important for the function of platelet to maintain healthy platelet function that can affect the blood flow. So tomato aqueous extract helps to maintain normal platelet aggregation. So what is platelet aggregation? When there is any damages, okay, now we are looking into our blood vessel. If there is any damage or puncture in our blood vessel, bleeding will happen. So how to stop the bleeding? Actually, platelets play important roles. So platelet will, will gather at the, the injured site to form a threat um, like a, a net type of thing to block the loss of blood, to block the flow of blood from the injury part. So this is under normal circumstances, platelets should come to aggregate to stop the blood flow, okay, when there, there is any damages. However, if a platelet is overreactive, okay, it may aggregate it may aggregate whenever there is no injury. So when this happens, you can imagine that blood clots may form, okay, very abnormally. And this will affect the blood flow within the blood vessel, okay. It, it is good for platelet to aggregate when there is damage or when there is injury, but it is not good when it aggregates all the time, so it will affect the blood flow. So why, why there is some abnormal or unhealthy platelet aggregation? It could be due to, again, the lack of exercise. Exercise play an important role in our health. Stress, um, obesity, not taking care of the diet very well. People who has um, high blood sugar problem, diabetes, People who smoke, they will experience higher oxidative stress. And aging, aging can also affect this uh, function and air pollution. So there are many, many risk factors. Basically, any factors that is not good for your body, it may also affect the function of platelets. So what is so good about TAE is that according to clinical studies, um, ingesting this tomato aqueous extract, the, the function, sorry, the anti or anti-platelet aggregation effect can be observed within one and a half hour after ingesting this TAE. And what is more uh, encouraging, it shows that this effect, this anti-platelet aggregation effect can even last up to more than 12 hours. So this is especially good for people who, uh, you know, their blood 
uh, their platelets show some abnormal function, okay, um, uh, abnormal aggregation. So this will help them to prevent or to just uh, help this platelet to maintain its normal state, not to aggregate when it's not supposed to be. Besides that, uh, there are also studies that supports this TAE is a very good uh, prevention. When we talk about primary prevention, it means that it's not something drug, uh, not medication, because medication should never be a primary prevention. And um, the studies also shows that 97%, up to 97% of subjects responded very well after the ingestion of this TAE, and they can enjoy the benefit of this antiplatelet aggregation effect. And here are some of the um, uniqueness of this TAE. It is also a patented ingredient actually, and because of um, because of this great ingredient, it is also a winner of New Trial Award in 2011 as one of the best new ingredients. And of course, comparing to drugs, TAE extract from tomato aqueous is safe. It is also scientifically um, proven it is uh, safe and effective. Now, we talk, we say that this Alex Young, okay, is an enhanced formula. In fact, it's the fourth generation, an enhanced formula for healthy circulation, which means all the goodness in the past or in the older generation are maintained. For example, the L-arginine, the TAE, as well as there are a group of synergistic nutrients there, including vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin E, and folate. All these nutrients or all these vitamins and minerals is, uh, is very helpful in maintaining the health of our circulatory system. And the enhanced formulation here is addition of curcumin. As we have learned earlier, it is good to regulate the blood cholesterol of our blood lipid as a whole. It also helps to boost NO production together with L-arginine. And thirdly, it is a strong anti-inflammation and antioxidant. So it, in, in short, we say that this enhanced formulation you know, is uh, good to maintain healthy circulation, targeting these four risk factors, these four common risk factors. So um, L-arginine, curcumin, tomato aqueous extracts, synergistic nutrients, all contribute to um, uh, reducing our risk factor, high blood pressure, because um, with NO, our blood vessel knows when to dilate. Um, it also dissolves the plaques to reduce you know, the, the risk of blocked block blood vessel. High cholesterol, we can counter it uh, with the help because studies show that curcumin helps to regulate blood lipid. Thrombus formation, it could be due to you know, injuries uh, from inflammation or it could be due to the abnormal aggregation of the platelet and TAE come in to help here. And of course, inflammation uh, because of the accumulation of these, uh, of these free radicals or oxidative stress, then the strong anti-inflammatory and anti-oxidant uh, effect from curcumin will help. And of course, synergistic nutrients, the vitamins B groups and folate, they are all very good to uh, help to prevent or lower the risk of blood vessel damages as well, according to the studies. Because when the body is lower in, in this vitamin, uh, homocysteine tend to accumulate and homocysteine is believed it may cause damages to our circulatory system, increasing the risk of this uh, CBD problem. So uh, all in all, okay, uh, these external impression trial results also, also shows the, this uh, effect that, that we have discussed earlier. So these are the results coming from 37 subjects, they are aged um, from 32 to 74. And their result also reported that 70% of them have improvement in their blood pressure, systolic and diastolic. And then about half of these subjects reported they have 
lower triglyceride, lower LDL cholesterol, and lower total cholesterol. And about 19% um, shows improvement in their HDL cholesterol, which means they are 90% of them actually increase in their HDL level. So this is the recommended consumption if you are looking to, to try on for health maintenance. Okay, um, and adults can take one sachet in the morning. It's best take an empty stomach for better absorption, and one sachet in the evening also on empty stomach or before meal. So uh, beware that this is only for adults, and whoever who is pregnant or lactating currently, um, this is not for you. So that is all from me today. Um, remember that you know understand the synergistic what is synergistic effect what is important for healthy circulation and most importantly i would say prevention is always always better than cure because everybody can do prevention but there is no no guarantee that you know a disease can be cured even with advanced technology nowadays so love your heart take care of your heart take care of your circulatory system and i'll see you next time. Bye.